This is Fox 11 News at 9. You know, with um, construction, you know, it was a, it was a hard-fought battle. A battle with fire that lasted more than 12 hours in a small Shawano County town with multiple fire departments there on the scene. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Leland. Authorities continue to investigate a fire that destroyed a century-old landmark in the small community of Caroline. Overnight, the blaze ripped through the home and business of Kathy and Jeff DeLorme. But luckily, no one was injured. Fox 11's Beth Jones was on the scene and has more. Charred remains are all that's left of this century-old building. It was once a working flour mill and considered a landmark among the local residents. I know there's a lot of people in town that used to work at the mill, so they've been down here all night. Just everyone's commenting on the landmark and very happy that um, the family was safe. But it's a very sad day. Yeah, a view will never be the same. It's a shame because they remodeled this mill and they kept some of the original uh, parts of it. But uh, both levels, upper and lower, were just immaculate. Shortly after 10.30 last night, firefighters arrived on the scene to find the lower east side of the building completely engulfed in flames. One of the residents was home at the time the fire began, but escaped without injury. And for the next 13 hours, five fire departments battled the blaze. But the old structure made it difficult for the firefighters to control the flames, forcing crews to attack the fire from the outside. Being construction, the building's over 100 years old. She just crawled the walls on us and it got over the top of us and we had to back out. But we were in that interior attack for, I'd say, at least an hour and a half. But even with multiple departments on hand, the fire was too large to save the structure. It just kept crawling up there and uh, there's that? nothing we could do, you know. We did our, did our best. Firefighters say they couldn't have made it through the night if it wasn't for the assistance they received from the local community. Residents, businesses, even the American Red Cross provided food and refreshments as well as fuel to help get them through the night. The exact cause of the fire is still under investigation. In Caroline, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. Fox 11 was not able to contact the family there for comment. Uh, the American Red Cross says they assisted a total of 75 emergency personnel overnight.